Good evening. Tonight, I am literally rolling the dice with my act. Nicholas, you're being handed a comedy cube by my lovely assistant. It has six topics, six different sets. Please give it a roll for me. Incoming. Nice. The topic for tonight, poor examples. How appropriate. I think we are poor examples for our children sometimes. I know I am. We don't mean to be. You tuck your kid into bed at night, what's the last thing you say? Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, no potential for nightmares there, is there? <laughs> the last image you're putting in your kid's head before he goes to sleep is being attacked by insects. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. Or ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire, your children are gone. Who writes this stuff, Stephen King? I met an old woman who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> Another heartwarming story for the kids. We weird, demented images we put in their heads, like uh, Beauty and the Beast. Remember the story, the girl falls in love with a yak. <laughs> or a water buffalo, whatever the hell that thing was. It was huge, hairy, it had horns, and it was wrong on many levels. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, remember the story, the girl passes out, and the guy starts kissing her. That's illegal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. Sexual harassment, <laughs> sexual assault. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub. Oh, that's a good image for the kids. Why don't we have a picture of them lathering each other up? Wouldn't that be nice for little Billy? For the better part of 50 years, Donald Duck has been walking around in front of his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, with a shirt on, no pants. Explain that. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Do you remember Snow White? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, one hot chick and seven middle-aged dwarves. That's an adult film, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Every day they'd go off to work and call her a prostitute. Hi-ho, hi-ho. That's not right. I'm Tom Cotter, you're awesome. The comedic stylings of Tom Connor. Everyone's on their feet. Howie, this your lane, you know, this Tom, your world. I think they're saying what I would like to say. You have been scratching and flying for 25 years, Tom. You said that in the package. And I'll tell you something, you just scratched and clawed your way to the top tonight. Thank you very much. Howard. I'm gonna confess something. There are times, even though our acts get 90 seconds, there are times I sit here, even here in the finals, and I go, I wish it would be over already. <laughs> With you, more than anyone on this stage, and this is the absolute God's honest truth, you always leave me wanting more. You are amazing. You're a terrific comedian, and in my book, a comedian deserves to win America's Got Talent, and it should be you. Sharon? Yeah, Tom, first time we've ever had a comic in our final, and I congratulate you for getting as far as you've got, but I know that there's a whole lot further that you're gonna be going. And I am just, I wanna thank you for being here with us because you really are a very funny guy. And I'd love to see you when you've got a drink in you. I bet it's filthy and I'd love it. Filthy.